Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing Lesson 12.5 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. Lesson 12.5 is called Line Plots, and this is actually a really fun and really easy lesson. Let's just go ahead and go to the Unlock the Problem. If you're in my class, you should be filling out page 461 and 462 as we go through the lesson. The data shows the lengths of buttons of the buttons in Jen's collection. For an art project, she wants to know how many buttons are longer than one-fourth of an inch. You can use a line plot to solve the problem. A line plot is a graph that shows the frequency of data along a number line. Make a line plot to show the data. So here's our information that we're going to use. And first step is to order the data from least to greatest length and complete the tally table. So we looked at all these data points up here and we saw that we have one-fourth, three-fourths, and four-fourths listed here in this. So we put them in order from least right here to the greatest right here. And now we're just going to make tally marks every time we see these fractions in the original chart. So for instance, our first thing that we're looking for is how many times we see one fourth. So we go up here, we see one fourth once, twice, and three times. So I will make three tally marks. Then we see three fourths one time right here. So it's just going to get one tally mark. Then last but not least, four fourths. We see that one two times. So this one will get two tally marks. So if we look at all of our tally marks that we just made, we can see that Jen has one, two, three, four, five, six buttons in total, six total buttons. All right, step number two, we're going to label the fraction lengths on the number line below from least to greatest. We, we already did that here, so it's going to be really easy. We're just going to write it down here. This is one fourth, this is three fourths, and then this one, actually I'm sorry, we got to go in order. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. Even though we don't have any two fourths, we're still going to put them on the number line. You can't just skip it and forget it. Alright, so we're on our third step. Now we're going to put an X above the number line for each data point. Write a title for the line plot. Okay, first let's just do the X's. So if I go back and I look over here at my one fourth, I have three tally marks. So I'm going to have to make three X's on top of where it says one fourth. I don't have any two fourths, so I can skip that one. Next would be three fourths. I have one tally mark, so three-fourths is just going to get one X. And then last but not least, we have four-fourths. There was two tally marks, so it will get two X's. Now the second part of the directions for step three said write a title for the line plot. We're just going to call this length of buttons in Jen's collection. Length. of buttons sorry it's hard to write so small with this pen in Jen's collection okay there we go. All right, and we're done. So the very last part, though, up here was we wanted to know 
how many buttons are longer than one fourth inch. So it would be all of these buttons that are past one fourth inch or longer than one fourth inch. So if we look at our X's, we have one, two, three that are longer than one fourth inch. So three buttons are longer than one fourth inch. And then down here, how many buttons were in her collection altogether? We already figured that out. We said six because we just counted all of our tally marks. So there were six buttons in her collection. Now, it's not on my page, but on your page, at the bottom it has a number two. It says, what's the difference in length between the longest button and the shortest button in her collection? So the difference, difference means subtract. So between the longest, which is four fourths, and we will subtract the smallest, which is one fourth. So you just do four minus one, three, and the bottom stays the same, force. So at the bottom of your page, 461, number two, your answer would be three fourths of an inch. All right, so that's our first example of how to do a line plot. Let's turn the page over to 462 and do another example for practice. Okay, page 462, example two says, some of the students in Mrs. Lee's class, Miss Lee's class walk to school. The data show the distances these students walk. Right here. What distance do most of the students walk? So we're gonna make a line plot to show the data. So first step, order the data from least to greatest distance and complete the tally table. So I'm looking at this data here. We have one half, one fourth, three fourths. Let me write them all down. We have one half, we have one fourth, we have three fourths. So we've got to put these in order from least to greatest. So I know that one fourth is the smallest. I'll put it here in the first one. And then after that will come one half. So I'll put that here in the second one. And then last would be three fourths. So I put that there. Now we are going to label the fraction lengths on the number line below. Well, before we do that, let's go ahead and put in our tally marks. So we're gonna look up here. Again, we're going to see how many times we see one-fourth written. I see it written one, two times. So it's going to get two tally marks. Then one-half, I see that written one, two, three, four. So I'll do four tally marks. And then three-fourths, I only see that written once. So that'll get one tally mark. Okay, now that we have that information, we're going to label the fraction lengths on the number line below from least to greatest. So just like we did on the first page, our smallest fraction will go here, one fourth, then one half, then three fourths, and then we're just gonna put the tally marks on top of them. So one fourth gets two, so I'll change those tally marks into X's, that gets two. One half gets four. One, two, three, four. And three fourths just gets one. All right, and now I need to, last but not least, write a title for the line plot. We're talking about distances that they're walking to school so I'm just going to call it distance, students walk to school. Distance, students walk to school. And if we look closely, we know that this is in miles, it says up here. So most students will walk 
we have the most x's on one half of a mile. So one half mile. All right, so this has been how to make line plots. If you have any questions, leave me a message.